what's expected of you guys. Everybody understands what they're supposed to do in every single position within our system and in our game. But in life, you also have to take responsibility for things that happen and that you need to live up to. So it counts for more than just what's here. Hi there sports fans, welcome to the first episode of Hockey Night in the Valley. I'm your host Jeff Seelman, coming to you from the lobby of Trico Center here in Calgary's Southeast. I just witnessed a game between our Bow Valley Midget Flames and Crowfoot. Our Flames played a well executed game tonight and came out on top 7-0. Welcome Coach Mark Commissar. Thanks for having me. Heck of a game tonight, Coach. Yeah, the fellas certainly did execute a solid uh, game plan, and uh, I was proud of the way they played. Well, tell me a little bit about that plan, Mark. Well, our game plan tonight was all about executing on passing, uh, supporting and uh, defending our own end, at the same time generating shots and rebound opportunities. Well, excellent. Um, I hear that uh, Jake's on the team, your son. How do you do tonight? Jake had a solid night. He uh, had a couple of goals, a couple of big hits, and uh, he managed to only uh, get one or two penalties. Well, let's uh, hear from Jake and some of his teammates. Welcome, Jake Commissar, Adam Krejci, and Chad Perez. Jake, how did you see the game tonight? I thought we, I thought we played pretty well as a team. We made a lot of good passes, kept the tempo up, and we really put in a lot of effort tonight. Well, tell me about that goal in the uh, second period that you had. That was uh, pretty sweet. Well, I started to see the play develop when we got down to their end, and when I saw Alex go into the corner, I saw the chance for the pass. So when I did get the pass, I walked into the slot and had an open lane and took the shot. Nice. Excellent. And uh, Adam, uh, we see that uh, you're, uh, you didn't have uh, much on the go from shots and, and goals, but uh, I saw a lot of shutdown plays out there. Uh, can you tell me about any of those tonight? Yeah, I just pushed the guy to the outside most of the times, shut him right down. He had nowhere to go. Did it a couple times tonight. And Chad, you, uh, you played uh, first and second period tonight, and um, I saw that you, you, you took a couple of shots. They didn't have a lot on you tonight, but uh, can you tell me about that first period? They had a power play, and, and, and you took a, quite a few shots in that power play. Uh, yeah, I saw the play come down the ice, and it was a two-on-one, and I knew that our defenseman would take the wide guy to the far corner, so my most important worry was the guy in the slot. So once I saw that pass, go from the corner to the slot it kind of gained depth out there and just took it off the head nice and and it was and it was pretty easy from there once you guys were up uh three nothing in the first period did that make you feel a little more comfortable in that tonight i uh, did in fact the boys were playing really hard and doing what they had to do following the system so all i had to do was keep the puck out of the net 
Do you feel that same way as well, Mark? Oh, for sure. We definitely uh, followed our game plan and uh, maintained a four check where we controlled the puck and controlled the zones in their end. Didn't, uh, didn't really force us to give up too many opportunities in our own area and kept them to the outside, which is a real plus in the game. Yeah, I've seen a lot of uh, great plays down low in behind the net and, and, and a lot of these guys uh, with their heads up making great passes right into the slot. We had a lot of chances right in there, didn't we? We certainly did. Uh, there was, uh, the, the score certainly could have been, uh, could have been greater. There, some, of their goal ten, some of their saves on their goalies were, were pretty strong. So, uh, Jake, are you going to continue this onslaught of uh, scoring a bunch of goals? Is that, is that normally what you do in, in a game? Uh, I hope I continue it. Usually I don't have that many goals or I just try and play and get the assists as a defense, but if the goals keep up, then I can't complain. And, and how is it uh, having Dad as a coach? Is, 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 is that pretty good? Uh, does, is he harder on you or does he, uh, does he razz you a little bit or, or anything like that? No, I feel like he treats me like just another player on the team and keeps it fair, doesn't focus too much on me and just keeps it even throughout the team. Nothing more, nothing less. Well, good. And, and uh, Adam, is, is, is Mark uh, a tough coach to play for? Uh, it has its benefits and its drawbacks. But for the most part, it works. That's all that matters. So, Chad, what is it like to uh, play for Mark? Uh, it's a great pleasure, you know. Off the ice, he's a fun guy. Like, he likes to joke around the dressing room, but on the ice, it's straight to business and straight to working on systems, power plays. Uh, he knows a lot about hockey. He knows what he's doing, and us as a player, you just got to believe in him and execute his, his system. Excellent. And I understand all three of you guys are uh, 17 this year, so um, this is the uh, last year in Bow Valley. Um, what kind of lasting impression do you guys uh, are going to take away from Bow Valley, and, and how will you uh, implement that in your lives? Well, I, feel, I definitely feel like playing for Bow Valley left a lot of really good life lessons for me. Uh, we've always, a nice thing is that we've always been a pretty strong team. So, sense of winning, sense of losing, sense of teamwork and responsibilities, it's taught me a lot, and I think I'll carry that on throughout life. Thanks, Jake. You learn a lot about leadership in that, helping these young guys out, playing with a bunch of 15, 16 year olds. So carry that through the rest of life, leading these little guys on. Also, you remember a bunch of the tournaments. Like we're going to Phoenix this year. Uh, we also went last year. You remember those the rest of your life. And Chad? Uh, you know, Bow Valley is just a great experience. I've played around around the league with a bunch of different teams. I can truly say that Bow Valley's been a team where I feel like home. All the all the guys, the coaches, we just we're we're not just a team. We're a family. We bond in the dressing room, off the ice, on the ice, and we all play for each other. And that's the main important thing. Nice. And I hear that uh, you guys are also taking on mentorship with a uh, buddy team, uh, a novice team. Mark, can you uh, give us some? Uh, Highlights on that? Yeah, they uh, introduced that program this year, uh, Jeff, uh, and they asked us to take on uh, a novice team uh, kind of as a partnership mentor program, uh, which is great because it gives these guys the opportunity to, uh, to give back something for all the volunteering that they've received over the years uh, in their hockey careers. And at the end of the day, these young novice players see these guys as uh, heroes. Uh, so it gives them a chance to come out on the ice and, and see how they go through a practice plan and it gives these guys the opportunity to, to show them what, uh, what the game's about, what it means to them. And I, I, I see that some of that philosophy that you've instilled in these young men could rub off on that other team. That would be the goal. At the end of the day, uh, the, uh, the game itself uh, is really all about life skills and what you can take uh, to help you at a different point in your life. Mark, it was great to have your players on tonight. Tell me a little bit more about some of the other players on the team. Yeah, they're a fine group of young men. Uh, I couldn't be more pleased uh, with the individuals we have. Uh, we've got a good mix. Uh, I believe we've got five 15-year-olds. Uh, we've got six 17-year-olds uh, and the rest are all 16. Uh, very responsible. Uh, they love to take in the information that I give them. Uh, they're also here for more than just hockey. So we got a couple of kids that are going to be around for a year, possibly more. Um, 
And, and talking with you, Mark, I, I've seen a, a great philosophy. Give me a little insight of what's happening there. Well, you know what? It's great, and it's great to be here for the game. And I, I absolutely love the game of hockey and very passionate about it. But at the end of the day, uh, in my books, it's what life lessons can the game give you as you move forward. Uh, and these young men, as they move on with their lives, uh, I'm hoping that they can draw back on some of the things that they've learned to help them get through times in their lives when they might be facing something a little more difficult. Well, saying that, uh, Mark, it was great having you on the show tonight, and thank you, and, and thanks to your team, and what a great game tonight. Thank you very much. I'm quite proud of the boys. They did an excellent job. Well, thank you, Mark. Thank you. This concludes our first episode of Hockey Night in the Valley. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you again the next time. And as Red Green always says, keep your stick on the ice. Good night. Standing here with Matt Dropow, center for the Bull Valley Flames. Is that okay if he rubbed his face like that? <laughs> oh, I didn't know. Sorry. <laughs> well, then we're going to change everything, the whole yeah. format. Is that okay? Yep. What do I, can I stop it there? Can we stop it there? <laughs> okay. Because then I forget what I'm going to say about these young men. <laughs> That's the okay. Okay. <laughs> Try it.